From the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Jed Castle. We're still early in things too, Lace. Yeah, we did get some rain on Friday, but that kind of caused problems for some people with the microburst winds. There were over a thousand customers without power wow. on, into Saturday. I mean, so this, this the heat, the storms came in Friday and they're without power into Saturday. The Saturday, the temperatures cranked back up. So what a miserable day, but some folks did get the rainfall and kind of plotted a few of the heavier totals here across Oklahoma. See some spots over north of Cheyenne, over near Arnett. Did see some spots in the last seven days pick up over uh, three inches of rain there. You look near in Clinton area, south there, some spots picked up one, two inches of rainfall down near the Red River. So you can see some sp scattering, kind of splattering of some rain over the state. Here in the metro area, again, we picked up some of that rain as well. Some spots did pick up about a quarter of an inch of rainfall here around Oklahoma City. A few spots did get a little bit more than that. You can see a little hole there where the rainfall has fallen in the last, uh, really the last several days. But again, many spots are about a month or so since we've had just a good quarter of an inch of rain here in the central part of the state. And as dry and as hot as we've been, things are really drying up here over the central part of the state. So we need more of a widespread type rainfall. You see where we're at for the last 30 day precip total, taking you from June 9th to July 9th. And where Oklahoma City is at right now, we are sitting in fourth place during that time period. So we need more rainfall as far as the driest 30-day uh, periods on record there. So we need more rainfall during that period. Now you can see the, the, the last 30-day high average. Hottest is 99.9, .9. that was in 2011. And then you look where we're at right now. We're about in 15th place and 94.2 is not far off what uh, is typical for this time of the year. So we need to go a lot further to be able to kick in the record type conditions there. So far, again, we had some hot conditions and again, we're going to expect to see hot conditions again today. 32 90 degree days so far this year Four 100 degree days. Put that against the extreme. Uh, we had 113 90 degree days back in 1998 and then in 2011, not far, not that far ago, 63 100 degree days through the entire summer. So hot conditions, not as hot as we've been here in the recent past. Heat advisory does continue today across north central into northeast Oklahoma. Heat will be building, put the heat index up about 105 to 110. Also, we now are having some of those air alert, uh, quality alert days. We have the ozone alert days here around the metro area and around the Tulsa area. So the go, saying goes, you just don't use any two cycle engines because that adds to the ozone around the metro. It's great to do some carpooling if you can do that. That's great as well unhealthy for folks that are sensitive to ozone. That's your pulmonary type issues here. So stay indoors, stay in climate controlled conditions if you can. 73, south winds at five miles per hour. Warm start this morning. Forecast today, find a pool for yourself today because it's going to be a hot one. Highs returning back up to near 100. We'll go from the 70s to near 101 by four o'clock. Light south winds about 5 to 10, maybe 5 to 15 miles per hour. Warm start over Oklahoma. Most spots right now are in the 70s. We'll heat it up today from the mid 90s southeast Oklahoma to near 105 in northwest Oklahoma. It's going to crank up there. Oklahoma City 101, 100 Stillwater, 105 near the Enid area. There will be a chance of rain coming up this afternoon evening as a cold front will arrive. This is that, that not as fr hot front we were talking about. Maybe a chance of a storm this afternoon into the evening hours. And as we go into this afternoon, there might also be a chance of a severe storm. They'll take us into tonight. And as we look at tomorrow, storm chance possible in the morning across northwest Oklahoma, north central Oklahoma, and then a hot one on the way for tomorrow. More 90s, some spots closing on 100 south, and there'll be a chance of rain tomorrow. But right now, everything looks slight at 20%. Looks like we're in for that hot pattern to continue. We'll dip it back into the 90s again for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe just a notch below where we were with this last. We'll call it cool down here Saturday and Sunday. But we are heating it back up. Look at those 100s to, to drop anchor and set up shop across Oklahoma starting on Friday.